Okay, I'm just going to show you how to create a simple chart using our sample spreadsheet. This is what it looks like. So to create a chart, this is how hard this is. I'm going to highlight my data like so with my mouse. Have it selected. Click on insert. Here it says charts. I can choose. I want one of these um, column charts. Pick one. Let's see, maybe just a plain one to start off with and as you can see down here it shows a preview when I click on it, see that? Preview. If I'm happy with that, um, which I am, I just click and there it is. Created a chart. Just like that. Two steps. Once I've got my chart I can do lots of things. I can click on any of the elements for example down here, up here. If I want to actually add a chart title I, all I need to do is click on it, highlight and for example I can write here Frankston Swimming Club Squad Numbers and just click off it. Over here, I've got a few buttons here. I can look at any of the chart elements. I can add any of the elements that I might want on it, data labels, etc. And again, you see the whiz biggie, the preview, the what you see before you get it option. I can click here and change styles. So I can scroll through, change styles. Again, when I'm happy with one, I can just click on it. Cool. I can change colors. So there's a couple of color ranges. Um, we can go something like that. Nice yellow tones. Black and white, I guess, if you're printing. Boring, but it's there. Or we can go really quite funky colors. Blue and gray and something like that. So if I'm happy with it, click. It's as simple as that. There's my chart. I click off it, click back on it, and you get the chart options. I have design tab up here, which again gives me the um, colors, uh, changing of the layout, adding extra chart elements, which we saw before, and that will depend on the kind of chart that you've got selected. I can also choose style from here and I can do this switch column row option and if you see what happens when I do that you can see that the chart actually changes from being the numbers across the top and the um, to the current and proposed it's laid it out differently so we've got that or we have it that way where you have the squad numbers and then the current and proposed within each squad type switch. So it depends I guess on what you're trying to achieve. With it. So we'll go back to what we had before. Also have this select data. So if I want to actually see what ranges have been selected, I click on select data. I'll put it over here. Click on select data and I can actually add another range if I had more ranges that I wanted to include or I could delete a range. So if I actually didn't want to compare it with with the proposed numbers, I can just remove it, like so. And then if I want to put it back in, of course, I can just add it in again. There we go, like so. Um, and click OK. And there's our simple chart. That's a chart that's embedded onto my actual sheet. And of course, I can grow it and I can move it as if I want to put it underneath or something like that. And grow it, shrink it. Or what I can do, if I wanted to, I can actually move the chart and pop it onto a whole sheet on its own. Click New Chart, click OK, and there it is on a sheet on its own. The chart, sheet, chart, sheet. And that's it. Nuts and bolts of charts.